Happy Friday! Hope y'all are having a good weekend so far. I am just at my studio. I don't think I've shown the YouTube my studio. So I'll take y'all on a little tour. So this is what you see when you walk in. Ignore the mess. I'm cleaning up a little bit. I have a full weekend of studio sessions, so it's a little bit of a mess. But we've got like a little waiting area here, just hangout area. That's all my junk on the bench. So this is my little like baby station where you can change the baby. And then we've got little newborn outfits, swaddles, hair bows, all the furs and rugs. And then this will be my setup for Easter slash spring minis this weekend. And over here I have a bunch of props. That right there is my prop closet, which is full of tons of props. I'm a little bit of a prop hoarder. And then this bean bag here is what I use for newborns a lot. So I've got a newborn tomorrow and quite a few Easter and spring sessions on Sunday. So, so I just wanted to start this vlog and just kind of go over how this past week has been for me. So we are officially 16 weeks out tomorrow and it is March 31st. So coach increased cardio last week, which has been so hard. Previously, I have been doing six sessions of 25 minute incline walking at my house on my treadmill. So that was about like a 4.0 incline, maybe 3.5 speed. Um, so, you know, nothing intense. It was pretty easy. I just got it done at the end of the day, right before I went to bed but she increased the intensity to a 300 calorie burn for each session, but she's not making it super intense. So she's wanting me to stick to incline walking, stair climber, or the elliptical. So something like low impact, nothing crazy like hit cardio yet, because we will implement that later on. But it has been a game changer and I am exhausted. Like what was I even doing before? We are officially in prep. So yeah, I've been, really trying to feel out what is going to work best for my schedule. I'm thinking I'm going to have to start splitting up my lifts and cardio because obviously I'm putting all of my energy or most of my energy into my lifting and cardio is last um, and that's what she wants as well but by the end of my lift I'm just exhausted so it's been really really challenging doing all in doing it all in one like block so I think I'm going to next week try to get up early every morning and either do my cardio and posing in the morning and lift later in the afternoon or flip-flop it and do it that way. So I'm going to try both ways and see what works best for my energy levels and my work schedule and all of that. Other than that, everything has stayed the same macro-wise. I'm still having my one refeed day a week, which I usually take on Tuesdays, but I wait until I check in with coach on Monday to make sure that I'm having the refeed on Tuesday. So I'm praying to God that she keeps my refeed in the plan so when I check in with her Monday I can plan on the refeed Tuesday. So we are about five weeks in. I've start I started prep at 21 weeks out so I've lost about five four to five pounds it fluctuates um, but I'm already feeling really like good and like I'm making a ton of progress. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll see like some stories that I've compared pictures from last prep to this prep and it has just been amazing to just see the difference. Um, last year I had started my hormone and gut health journey, but it was new. So, you know, my body was healing, but it was at the beginning stages of healing. So it kind of still fought me. My body still kind of fought me in the beginning. And you could, you can see where I was holding on to inflammation and the scale just wasn't changing. Whereas now I'm the same weeks into prep and I'm sitting about at the same weight as I was 17 weeks, 16 weeks out last year but my body composition and lean mass are definitely awesome. So I'm very, very happy with that. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited for this prep. And I had mentioned in one of my other videos that I am working with a new coach this season. I love my old coach. She was actually local to me, so it was really convenient um, for us to meet up sometimes and pose together. But I just really, really wanted someone that was an expert in hormone and gut health that also is a bodybuilding coach. So I'm really happy with my new coach and everything that she has applied to this off season and prep has just been really awesome. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it with the changes. 
Um, so I'm interested to see what she'll change this upcoming Monday. And I'm really excited to see my pictures just because I just feel like I've made a lot of progress this week. So we shall see. I don't want to make this too long, but I just wanted to pick y'all up while I had the chance and could just kind of bring you along on my day. And today I'm just gonna be setting up the studio for some sessions and I might do a grocery haul. So I'll show you all that if I do. And then I also want to show you guys like a, a little recipe that I like to make and prep. And that will be later on in the video. So I'll see y'all soon. Okay, I'm back. So I am just making some matcha tea. I've got my almond milk here in this little blender cup. This is the brand that I use. I get at Publix. And I love it. I just use one teaspoon of that. And then I also use this ginger powder that I got at Trader Joe's. You can use any ginger powder, but I just use like a little bit of, maybe half a teaspoon of that, some stevia, and then I just blend it up. And then I just add some hot water. I have an electric kettle, which I love, that heats up water. So I'll just add that to the blender. And blend it up. And you don't have to blend it up, but it makes it so frothy. Y'all see that foam up top? So what I do is I'll fill a Yeti cup about like this much with hot water and then I'll pour this into it and it makes a big 30 ounce cup of matcha tea. It just helps me get my liquid in, try, try to get a gallon of liquid a day. So I count that towards it since it's mostly water. So this is the matcha, all nice and frothy. So good. So I'm gonna take this with me to go to the grocery store. For dinner, I want to do a low carb spaghetti. So I'll show y'all how I do that. I'm gonna make my husband spaghetti too, but his will be just regular. So I will bring y'all along. So we are back from the grocery store and I showed y'all pretty much everything that I got in the last slide, but I wanted to show y'all exactly what I got for tonight's dinner. So you'll need meat. So I got 1% ground turkey. This is my favorite from Publix. So I got Rayo's brand. It's really clean ingredients and low sugar. And then they had a sensitive marinara sauce with no garlic or onion, which I love to stay away from garlic if I can. I'm gonna mix in mushrooms and green peppers and onion. So for the husband, I got some organic angel hair pasta. And then for me, to make it lower carb, I'm gonna do hearts of palm pasta. And I found this at Trader Joe's. I don't know if this will focus. Um, but Publix also has a brand called Palmini and I showed it in the previous slide that you can get there. So I'm sure it's very similar, but it's really good macros and for one third of the package, it's gonna be four carbs. I'll probably have two servings. Okay, so first we're gonna cook our meat and what I do is I will spray the pan with some avocado oil. And I'll wait for it just to heat up for a few minutes and I'll put that on medium. Yeah, we'll do medium. Just because it's lower fat, I don't want to cook it too fast, then it'll get really tough. And then the seasonings I'm gonna use are salt and this poultry seasoning. I got this at Lidl. But it's basically just a mix of a mix of thyme, sage, marjoram, I don't know how to pronounce that, rosemary, pepper, and nutmeg, and it's really good. 
So the meat is done. So now I'm just gonna set it aside. I'm actually gonna weigh it out so I know how much to eat later. And I cooked it until it was barely done just so it wouldn't get too dry. So for the noodles, it says just to empty the contents into a saucepan and heat for five minutes. So that seems pretty easy. So I'll do that and show you guys when I'm done. So I'm still waiting on the noodles to cook. So while I do that, I'm gonna cook my vegetables. So I've just sprayed some more avocado oil in my pan, dump these in there and saute them. So the noodles are looking good. I'm just going to add some basil, oregano, and some parsley and a little bit of salt while they're cooking. They have about two more minutes. So the noodles are done and they smell amazing. I actually tasted one and they're really good. They have kind of a crisp texture, but they basically just like soak up the flavor that you season them with. So I think it'll be really good. Yum, it looks so good. Let's taste. I ended up adding a little bit of cheese on top, some vegan cheese. Um, I try to stay away from dairy because I think it broke me out in hives, but I just added a sprinkle and I will share the nutrition facts. Mm, that is delicious. I'll put the recipe in the description for y'all. It's been a morning already. It is Saturday and I'm here at the gym to do legs. I have a pretty busy day with work. Um, and I've kind of, I'm kind of in a rush because it's 7.15. I've got to be at my studio by 9.15. So I'm thinking I'm not going to have enough time to do my cardio, which sucks. But I will just come back later. Um, I might take you guys in the gym. I might not. I will let you know. Hello, coming from you from my phone. I left my camera at home. Um, I have not vlogged all day. It's just been kind of a rough day with work and just being tired and just having an off day, honestly. But I just got here to my session and I'll try to get some clips of just behind the scenes of the location because it's really, really pretty. I used to actually live near this park, but I will get some clips of that and then I probably won't vlog anymore until tomorrow. So I'll see y'all then. And I'm back at the studio. That um, clip that y'all saw earlier of me at Planet Fitness, um, I had chugged my pre-workout and ran there on my lunch break. And then I actually had a client call me and get her appointment time mixed up. So I had to rush back to the studio, get her session done. So now I'm here um, and I don't really have time to go back to the gym. I was planning on getting my cardio done while I had my little lunch break, but it's okay. Um, I have my pre-workout in me, so I'm super jacked up on that, and I'll have enough energy to get through the rest of the day, which is good. Um, I have about four more appointments, I think, so I'm going to get those done and then wrap up, and then I will head home to do my the rest of my cardio on my treadmill at home. Just finished my sessions. <clears throat> I probably look really crazy with this crazy hair, and my voice is so hoarse from screaming at kids. I mean, I wasn't screaming at them, but I was just trying to get them to smile. So, to say I'm exhausted is an understatement. I'm so tired. If any of y'all out there are photographers, you know what I mean. But it's been a long day, and I'm super behind on meals. Um, just because I've been really busy, and I didn't really get a chance to sit down and eat any of them. So, I'm getting caught up right now. And I'm going to head home, and um, I still have to do my cardio. So, Honestly, I think I might take a nap when I get home and then wake up and do the cardio before dinner. So, we shall see. But if I don't vlog anymore today, I will see you guys tomorrow at my check-in. 
Hello guys, happy Monday. It's been forever since I've been on my camera camera. I've been picking up my phone this weekend. Um, but as you could tell, I was on the struggle bus this weekend and I am still feeling that way today. I really do not want to share my check-in because it is the worst check-in I've had all prep. So there's that, um, but I will pop it in in the slides upcoming, but yeah, like I think I started recording Friday um, and that is when I s started noticing my digestion was going downhill. I think I might have mentioned I was like kind of bloated and I had indigestion or like acid reflux during my workout on Friday and ever since then my digestion has been wrecked. I don't know if it was so it's something that I'm eating or if it's just stress um, or hormones or a combination of everything. My guess is a combination of everything. So I've been really discouraged because it's pretty discouraging when you're doing everything right as far as following, following your macros, doing the workouts, doing the cardio, and you just feel really inflamed, bloated, and not yourself. So I don't know if I mentioned it on here, but I had come on my Instagram stories and was super, super happy because I thought that the seed cycling that I had started for hormonal health was really working. I didn't have... PMS symptoms around day 18, 19 like I normally do, but unfortunately I spoke too soon and I started having some like breast pain, PMS symptoms, bloating, moodiness, probably around day 21, 22, and I'm on day 24 right now, so I'm about three to four days out from my period, so sorry if that's TMI, but I just, you know, I really want to keep it real on here and document my journey as it is and not sugarcoat it. Um, I was telling my sister this morning, I was like, I really don't want to share my check-in. I just, maybe I should just wait until next week and share it. And she was like, no, absolutely not. Like people were watching your vlog to see the raw, real information, like the things, the trials and tribulations that it takes to go through a prep and become the pro that you want to be. So she's right so I can't just share all the good things all the ups and not share the downs and the lows so you know part of me was just kind of hesitant to share because I don't know because I just do everything so right when it comes to my hormones and gut and you know avoiding seed oils and extra chemicals and I eat really clean and that's my choice of course because I do everything right I'm just like why am I why am I having these issues so I'm really chalking it up to stress um, and, you know, just hormonal. My camera fell. But anyway, sorry about the weird lighting. Um, I'm just at the grocery store um, about to go in and get some things. So I sent my check-in early this morning and my coach actually got back to me pretty quickly. So this is the reason I love her and I'm so glad that I'm working with someone that really specializes in hormonal gut health and like functional health in mind because she got back with me and she was like we're gonna take a deload week let's bump your training from five to three days and we're just gonna do full body workout and then I'm keeping cardio the same macros are the same so she thinks that this will really help um, decrease inflammation give my body and digestion a rest and just really dial it down just to um, decrease like any kind of stress that my body is experiencing so I'm really really thankful for her and for her taking the time to just really get to the root of the problem instead of saying oh no we need to push harder let's decrease calories increase cardio you know so it just goes to show that the answer is not always to push harder sometimes you have to reel it back take a step back reassess and just really see try to see what's going on um, in order to move forward and make progress so I know my body will thank me in the long run even though in my mind I'm like oh my gosh I'm 16 weeks out I still need to lose like 15 16 pounds you know I gotta stay on top of that but you know that's why you hire a coach because they can see things that you're not seeing so with all that being said, I'm about to go in the grocery store and get a couple things. Um, she wants me to really focus on nutrition, my micronutrients. And, you know, I'll, I'll always do that, but I can dial it in even more. So I'm just really going to pick things that are really healthy for me and fuel my body rather than, like, what I'm craving and stuff. So 
I'll show y'all what I get. Um, this hasn't been the best check-in and it's actually really discouraging, but what can you do? You're not always gonna have a great week, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back from the grocery store. I've actually been at home for a while, but I just wanted to sit down, get some work done, relax a little bit, and then just show you guys what I got at the grocery store. So for my carb sources this week, I will be doing quinoa and these lentils here, and I cooked both of them separately in my pressure cooker. I've got apples. I love the gala apples. I think that's how you say it. They're my favorite. I've got asparagus, green beans, peppers, carrots, spinach. I've got some sauerkraut here. This is really good for probiotics. And then I also have a head of cabbage that I will chop up and steam and also put in my air fryer. I mean, not air fryer, pressure cooker. So yeah, just a little bit of a veggie haul. Really want to focus on my micronutrients this week. Not that I don't always, but you know, just a little extra love for the gut this week. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what I had. So three things that I already have at the house that I do every morning also for gut health is to incorporate apple cider vinegar. So I'll take this on an empty stomach in the morning, just take a shot, like a shot glass filled with this and a little bit of water to dilute it. And then I'll chase it with half a glass of aloe. Um, and then I'll take this lemon juice and mix it with my water throughout the day. And I swear it has made such a impact, a good impact on my digestion. So I'll be continuing to do these things obviously this week, but I just wanted to share that with you guys just in case you've never heard of it. So I was finishing up editing and I realized I deleted my outro on accident. So I just wanted to make a new one and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, just following along on my journey. It really means the world to me and I just hope that I can help at least one person out there just with any of my tips or just share my journey just to have someone to relate to is just always really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I will check back in with y'all probably in about two weeks just because I feel like once a week is kind of redundant because not much changes week to week. But I will probably put out another video next week, just not really a prep update. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.